what is up you guys welcome to another devotional so the devotional for the night is the purpose driven life devotional for kids includes 300 specific devotions by rick warren recommend for all ages though we are on day Two hundred and three. Sweet. Okay, so it's always a title, a scripture, and then we're going from the thing and we're going from the breath. Let's do it. So first let's bow our heads. Close our put our hands together, bow our heads and close our eyes. Let's pray Father God, we buy our be given to one spirit here and on the other side of the screen. And in Jesus' name is this place for your spirit on me. In Jesus' name, dwell inside of us. Amen. Okay. The title is Holy Spirit Help. The scripture is 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. Spelling of ESV. Okay. We are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. That was 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. The Bible compares spiritual growth to a seed. A building and a child growing up. Seeds must be planted and watered. Buildings must be constructed. They don't just appear. And children must eat and exercise to grow. But those, but guess whose job it is to dren must, oh, sorry, I've written a different thing. But guess whose job it is to grow you. Not yours, it's the Holy Spirit's. You cannot reproduce the character of Jesus on your own strength. But in best instructions, best intentions or wishing really, really hard are not enough. Only the Holy Spirit has the power to make the changes God wants. This is called sand, sand sanctification. Most of the time, the Holy Spirit's power comes into your life in quiet ways you aren't even aware of and can't feel. He often nudges with a gentle whisper. 1 Kings 19 verse 12. How does this happen in real life? There are the choices we make. Through the choices we make. We choose to do the right thing and then trust God's spirit to give us his power, love, faith and wisdom to do it. We choose to act differently and depend on his spirit to help us actually do it. Before you know it, you're growing strong and sure. Now time for the prayer. Put your hands together, bow your heads and close your eyes. God, help me make choices that are pleasing to you. I know I can't do it by myself, but the Holy Spirit gives me the wisdom and strength to act differently. Thank you for the Holy Spirit working in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I really hope that I bless you guys. Bless me. I love you guys so much. Be blessed.